I'm gonna carry um, a shotgun because that's a really cute and simple way to accessorize your outfit. Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video and I'm really excited to record this video because this is a game that I see everywhere online. It literally even has its own dedicated subreddit on Reddit. And when you guys send me screenshots of your phone, I'm seeing it on your phone as well. That's right, today we're going to be playing Your Fashion, Your Way. We are going to be playing Love Nikki, who are very kindly agreed to sponsor this video. You can catch the little cheeky link in my description if you want to check out more of the game. And also, I love doing this. I love giving you guys stuff. I'm actually in a competition for this game. I'm going to be giving away 13 codes for in-game goodies in Love Nikki. All you have to do is drop a comment below saying that you want the code and I'm going to be giving away 30 codes replying to you on my YouTube comments so you can win one of those. So I was kind of thinking, you know, Love Nikki, it's all about being super stylish and super fashionable. And right now I am pretty basic, you guys. There's not really a great deal of fashion going on here. So I think we need to change that because the game is all about these designer battles. And right now I'm not going to be winning any battles, you guys. I you know how much I like to win. So I think first of all, we need to do something with the hair. Okay, that's a little bit better. I'm starting to feel a little bit more glam, but I'm still just wearing a white t-shirt. I feel like we can do better than this as well. Okay, let's try this again. Okay guys, that's more like it. I've got the little cute dress on that Ali got me for the dress my boyfriend video. And I've got this little choker with a triangle on it. And everyone knows triangles are my favorite shape. So I'm feeling pretty cute. I think it's time to start playing some Love Nikki. So guys, this is Love Nikki. If you didn't know already, Nikki is our protagonist. She has been transported to this very fashionable world and she has to wait, make her way across seven kingdoms, trying on the different styles from each kingdom, making friends with designers and stylists and basically becoming a style icon. So there are literally tens of thousands of outfits and haircuts and accessories in this game. It's pretty insane. And they say they add outfits to the game all the time and there's literally like every style you can imagine. So if you want to go kind of classy or if you want to go doctory, if you want to go like fantasy-esque or just pure anime with some gorgeous hair, then you can do with any of those. I'm literally like, this is it activating my sim gene that loves dressing things up and like making things look pretty. And I'm just literally in love with all these hairs. Like I want all these hairs on my head right now. They're so cute. I thought I'd made a good effort with my hair, but you know, some of the hairs on here, they're putting mine to shame. And you complete daily tasks, you do your battles, and you earn more outfits playing game and enrich your ever going beautiful wardrobe. I mean, I own more shoes in this game than I own in real life. Like, that's kind of sad, but it's definitely true. Like, look at these. These are like my real life badass boots, but they're made of steel. Steel, you guys! And you can add your friendos on here and play with them as well. So, enough talking. Let's do a little bit of dressing up and let's enhance our wardrobe and maybe do a few battles as well. Okay, guys, here we go. We are in chapter six, the flower field encounter. Literally, it looks so pretty here. So we find another super styling lady. In fact, she's kind of looking a bit more styling than we are, if I'm being honest. So this is Luna and this is her hometown. It's very pretty, Luna. So look at the ancient building beyond the flower field. Legend says a great designer lives there. Hello, look at... I'm literally almost wearing the same outfit as Nikki. Can I just point that out? Okay, so we're gonna go and give this ancient craft a flower crafting a shot, although apparently it's very dangerous. And we have to be careful because it's easy to get lost in the flower field, even though it's just so pretty, you guys. Okay, so we have to style ourselves appropriately for the flower field theme. So let's have a look what the theme is supposed to be. Gorgeous and cute. Okay, you guys, I think we've got this. Let's first of all, look for some gorgeous and cute hairstyles. Oh, okay, so we've got this one, this one, or this one. Well, this one's got the most ha hearts on it, so I feel like that one's probably the best one. And then I feel like this occasion calls for a dress, because I'm wearing a dress right now. Let's see what kind of options we've got here. Oh, well, we've got this little maid one. Oh my gosh. Yes, childlike love. But this one's got more hearts, but this one's just so cute. I want to wear that one. How about a coat that is also gorgeous and cute? Okay, maybe just one of them. What about just cute? I'm kind of going heavy on the cute theme. Oh my gosh, look at that. They overlay perfectly. This outfit was meant to be. Okay, can we get some tights on there too? Maybe we go gorgeous on the tights. Beautiful, loving that. How about some shoes? I think we go gorgeous on the shoes as well. Oh no, they're a bit, oh, they're a bit harsh. I like these ones better. They're a little bit more gentle. Gotta be stylish, you guys. Just, just follow my lead. I, I clearly know what I'm doing here. Cute, let's have a look. Oh, gorgeous, oh, 
Oh, they're, they're not really going though with what I'm wearing, so I'm probably gonna go for a maid cap. Um, I've heard that that's exactly what everyone's wearing on the red carpet at the moment. I think Kylie Jenner was wearing one, so... Oh my gosh, they go perfectly. You can't wear it, no. Oh, you're just ruining it now, Claire. Get that off. Those beads kind of blend beautifully into your outfit. They're also adding a little bit of sexiness, which I actually feel might interfere with my cuteness. So is there anything more cute, please? A little bunny! Yes, I want a bunny necklace. I think I'm just gonna keep on layering. This is just that one I'm gonna roll. So let's layer up a little bit more. I'm just gonna rock up with this bear in my hand. Um, just feel like that's a good move here. Also, you can't see it, but I'm holding a weapon of death in the other hand because you need to be prepared for all eventualities. Wings, obviously. Like, you can't really go anywhere without your wings and also your tail. Um because that's just, everyone knows that. Everyone knows that, you guys. Can I have some fireflies just um, floating in front of me? Can I have some flowers, maybe? Flowers are elegant, right? Let's go for some flowers. There we go. I'm just gonna go for that background. I th I don't think that's too much. I think that's the kind of outfit. Outfit you should wear if like you're meeting like your partner's uh, family for the first time. Show them that you're like a really down-to-earth girl, they'll like that. And then you've got to have a music box to stand on, because otherwise you're just standing on the floor. And that's just not very gorgeous, you guys. And then we're gonna go for this. Oh, we could go for two different color eyes, like Carrie. I'm gonna go for Carrie. Oh, but what about the- <gasps> She's blowing hearts. Okay, obviously that wins. Although we could cry. <gasps> Crying could definitely win us points, couldn't it? But I like blowing kisses more. Let's go for some blowing kisses. Okay, what's Momo's reminder? He thinks these suit of clothes are suitable. I mean... I'm not, I'm not sure about that. I don't, like, Momo's, that, I feel like that's just not really, like, wowing you enough. He does, however, recommend those different colour eyes. So fine, Momo. I'll let you have one thing. I'll let you have the different colour eyes, okay? That's all you're getting. There you go. Okay, let's see how we do, you guys. So, like, look at us, look at us. How is it giving her more cue? Are you joking me? Are you joking? Look how gorgeous I am. How is she more pure than me? This is absolute pure jokes right now. No, no, no. Mine's warm. Look how much she's got on. She's not gonna be able to move for warm. How did I? How did I lose? How did I lose that? That's disgusting. That's actually disgusting behavior right there. How did I get an F? Okay, I'm kind of feeling like my skills are lacking, so I'm gonna upgrade my skills a little bit. But like this world doesn't really understand me and my vision for the fashion industry. I bet you guys can't wait for my merch now. <laughs> okay, this time we're gonna listen to the little cart, Momo, because apparently he's more styling than I am. So Momo, we're gonna give you a listen, okay? I bet you're probably happy about this because you win. I mean, look how cute that girl is though. It's gonna be hard to win a cute contest against her. Her, she ain't so cute, so I could probably have won it. Okay, Momo, give me your advice. You want this cheesecake hair, okay? So we've got the cheesecake hair. What else do you want? Red vest and a red top. I can do that. It is quite cute, to be fair. And it's also quite similar to her style. I'm liking the little cute cat on there. He also recommends a little red riding hood cape and a cat tail. At least I get to wear the cat tail, you guys. I'm also enjoying the idea of... <gasps> okay, she's looking really cute now. I can kind of see where I was going wrong. I'll accept that, Momo. I will accept that you probably know more about looking cute than I do. Oh my gosh, she's actually adorable right now. <laughs> can I still have nonsense behind her, though? Because otherwise, what's the point? I want to put nonsense behind her. Look, I'm gonna put some flowers behind her because we're doing like this kind of flowery vibe, aren't we? Some rose petals glowing in front of her. Okay, guys, there's literally no way I can't win now. Look, look how cute. Like, look how cute she is. I kind of want this outfit. How good would it be if you could just dress like this and people wouldn't judge you? I want to dress like that. I actually want to dress like that. Okay. No, she's still, no, no, look at us go. <gasps> oh my gosh, you guys, we're so pure. We're so gorgeous! Look how gorgeous we are! We're so cute! I'm over here! Look how red I am! I'm so warm! You guessed it, I am actually so warm! Ha! Sit your butt down! Victory for me in my little red white riding hood outfit! Look at that score! Ah, guys, I'm so gorgeous! So gorgeous!
My ranking, I'm in the top 84%. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> but still, we got some gold. We got an S rank. And we're on to the next stage, if me everything. Okay, guys, we're on to the next stage of our quest. We showed that little girl who was boss. Go back home to your mother. So now we can pass the ancient field test. Can we go ahead? No, the road is still ahead is still foggy, but the fog behind us has gone. It signifies more trials away on the way. Okay, bring it on. Did you see how gorgeous and cute we are when... Oh, look at this! A young chopper! Did you pass the test? You know we did. Why are you still here? I beat you. Okay, so this guy will agree to lead us, but only if we can win him in a styling battle. I mean, I think it might be a girl, actually. <laughs> We have to dress in a Cloud Empire style, the noble woman in traditional ink wash paintings. Quiet and elegant, color of a mortal. It's so beautiful. Okay, this sounds kind of hard. I'm gonna see what Momo has to say. Momo says you have nothing that would help you in this, so good night and God bless and good luck. We do, however, have this Cloud Girl thing, so I could go for the more basic one. Let's have a look for Cloud Girl. Okay, that is... I mean, it, it does look quite elegant, but it doesn't even have enough hearts. It's only got two hearts. Momo, I hope you're right about this. Let's put on the other stuff he's suggesting. Okay, I'm liking this kind of wild scarf. Momo, I'm, I'm appreciating that. He's recommending shoes that you ain't even gonna be able to see because my dress is huge. Okay, but he can only get me so far. I feel like the rest of it is down to me. I'm gonna go for this hair, very cute. And then, this is where I wanna go wild, but I feel like Momo just doesn't appreciate this element of me, like. Why can't I have wings for it? Like, that's simple and elegant. Why can't I have a vixen tail? I'm gonna have a vixen tail. Okay, I'm not sure how well this is gonna do, but let's just give it a go, okay? Oh my gosh, look at her. Oh my gosh, but I'm purer than you are. You've gone too far. You've taken it too far. You're not mature enough to handle me right now. Okay, you are a lot cooler than me though, apparently. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're not as cool. Oh, you're not as elegant. Look how elegant and gorgeous I am. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at me go. <gasps> my simple elegance was what this was looking for. She went too crazy. I would never do that. I would never go too crazy. That's why I am the S rank and she is the L rank. I think it will be that way for you guys. <gasps> I can finally say this. Nikki, you are even more awesome than grilled fish. Momo, you have no idea how much this means to me because you've helped me so much, so thank you. And all, for all that, I only got a V-neck sweater. I want a big, huge foxtail. Okay, I'm kind of hooked on this now, so I need to keep going. I need to keep going. So now that I kicked your butt, Fushu, you need to show me down the path, okay? You need to become my guide because that's what happens when I win. Oh no, it is a guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna- he can not only summon platforms, but he can go through zones, invisible walls. He can do everything. Are you the legendary god of Earth? Calm down, Bobo. Someone's clearly got a crush. Oh my gosh, look at this girl, Toto. Were you sent by the gods to witness my beautiful love? Oh wow, she's coming on a bit strong. And she's got a new boy, okay. Five boyfriends already, chapter six, and I'm still single. <laughs> okay, so we need to find her something elegant and beautiful to wear for her new boyfriend's date, but no, we don't actually find her the clothes, we just put them on and say how much better we would look than her. And then we battle her and embarrass her. That's how things work in this world, you guys. So, Momo, what are you saying, friend? Ooh, pay pain epic. I like that. <gasps> I don't have the dress that he's thinking would look good for this, though. So this is going to be Claire winging it, kind of. After all that talk as well, I better do well at this. Or else I've just embarrassed myself. Okay, so clearly this this is this is kind of what you'd wear for a date. Guys love that. They actually love it when you just turn up half dress. Some butterflies, because I, I always release butterflies before my dates with Valley. It's just obviously you do that. And then I'm just gonna go because I don't have a simple kimono. Gonna go for this really un understated dress that you know, it's not it's not gonna scare anyone. It's very simple, really. I'm gonna carry um, a shotgun because that's a really cute and simple way to accessorize your outfit. And you add that with um, like a throwing knife thing, like a kunai. An apron with a pizza on it, also super, super elegant. Wings, again, I don't really know why you'd go out without them, to be honest. I'm gonna give the tail a miss this time. Um, you don't always have to wear a tail to look uh, simple and elegant. You take it to a starry night place as well, I think. I'm gonna go for these ruddy, beautiful eyes. Okay. Again, like, she wants to go date with a boyfriend. She doesn't want to seem too over the top. She doesn't want to scare him off. I personally would recommend this look for, like, a first date. It's not too... It's not too heavy. It clearly shows, you know, low maintenance. Um, probably gonna be a really easygoing girlfriend. We'll get dressed super quick for dates, you know. You're gonna be waiting around for her to get ready or, um... 
these wings, they go on and off super quick. It only takes a couple of hours, so. I think this look is great. I think those shoes are really easy to walk in as well. Yeah, <laughs> let's go for it. Let's see how we compare. Well, she's gone for a much more simple and also much more pure look, okay. Oh, well, well apparently she's more gorgeous. Are you joking? And apparently she's more elegant. How can you say that is cuter? How can you say that is cuter? How is she cooler? Wow. She... Wow. I am actually shocked and horrified at that. How can you give me an F for that look? She looks great. Are you joking me right now? Oh, guys, well, clearly, clearly, I mean, I'm in the, I'm in the top 99%. <laughs> that was bad. That was actually just bad. Okay, so I've gone and done my little, uh, room of mystery... Room of Mystery, the Pavilion of Mystery. See if I can get some items that will hopefully help me if I decide to go back and try that one again. Which I actually can't believe that that wasn't appropriate first date wear. I don't know what they were thinking. They are not as stylish as me, so you, you know, they probably just don't understand it. You know, it's not it's not the end of the world. I'm just like a style master and clearly they don't appreciate or respect that. I see how it is. Okay guys, let's try this again, but maybe I will go less crazy this time. Just a tad, you know, I'm still, I'm still gonna, see, is, is recommending this one again? But he didn't like this one last time, did it? Oh, why does it hate my styling so much? Look, these are so pretty. What about that? That's kind of kimono-esque, a little bit. It's gorgeous and pure. That's good enough for me, okay? So I guess the rest of it is just kind of down to us. That's as far as he's helped us get. This is pure, but it's elegant and pure. Maybe that will still work. This is, this game's actually hard. <laughs> I mean, you can't really go wrong with a lotus flower on your head, can you? Have this around my neck. <laughs> we getting a little bit too much now. I'm gonna just put some lambs around me because I feel like they will be great. And also I'm gonna have this bunny on an IV because that's kind of like a standard for most outfits. I always start off good and then I just kind of lose it, don't I? It's so hard to not be weird though when you're playing a game like this. <laughs> Okay, I feel like that again, but I feel like the, the lambs are really selling it here. So let's let's see how this one does. Momo, you better be helping me here because it's showtime. Okay, we are cooler. <gasps> That's a good start. We are cuter. <laughs> we are also more elegant. Oh my gosh, Toto, sit down. You may as well just quit now, friendo, because we have literally smashed this. I don't know how we did so bad last time. I feel like the game doesn't really respect wearing huge angel, angel wings, really. But look at that, the bunny on the IV. Literally the bunny hooked up to the IV is gonna scream like normal girl on your first date. And I think the game recognized that. I actually think that's an S rank. S rank, you guys. S for standard first date material right there. That llama even has a bandana on. Even my llama is stylish. I don't know where they're gonna sit during the date, but... I don't know, they'll just chill with us. <gasps> and Momo is like, you are my superstar, meow, meow, meow. That is good news all around you guys. <laughs> so there you go. I think if anything you've learned that I give really, really good advice for how to dress for dates or for um, going through fields of flowers, for getting lost in the fog, any of that kind of stuff, just come to me because look at this. I mean, that just screams classic elegant beauty. Very Coco Chanel, I would say. It's very sort of spring, summer, 2018, I would say. Look at that, look at that. And I think I'm just gonna kind of finish off by just giving my favorite outfit for you guys so you can see it. I don't think it's gonna win anything. Um, it's probably not gonna win any battles, but here is my personal outfit of choice for Love Nikki. I'm gonna go for this beautiful sort of plaited hair number. Oh my gosh, dresses. There's literally so many ones to choose from. The, the, I would wear all of these. I would wear every single one of these. <gasps> this is like the dress I wore to. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna make my outfit. I'm gonna make me, okay? I'm gonna make my outfit that I wore to the premiere that you guys helped dress me. That was Love Claire, because you dressed Claire. And you guys did it on Instagram, so thanks for that. I need the high boots. Where are my steel boots at? Oh. oh you guys, it's looking beautiful. It is actually just looking so beautiful right now. I need my hair. That's, I'd say that's kind of similar to my hair. <laughs> Oh my god, that one's got cat ears. <gasps> this one moves. Okay, that hair's probably the most similar to mine. I know the color isn't quite right, but we're close enough. I went for like a blazer with it. Oh, but look at that. <laughs> oh no, even when I'm dressing myself, the temptation to go crazy is just too strong. Like, why can't I wear suit of armor all the time? 
Like, why is that not a thing? The real world's boring, man. I want to live in this world. I want to be a love Nikki. They don't really have, like, my sort of, um, like, beigey kind of blazer. So I'm going to go for the closest thing, which is probably going to be... This This armor, I would say, is quite is it quite close. Where have my boots gone? Never take my boots, okay? I'm going to go for these, like, um, cute orchid little sock, sock numbers there. And then what can I wear in my hair? I'm going to wear this magpie putting a brooch on my head. It's not something I always wear, but I, I probably would wear it for a film premiere. And then because I've kind of got the whole armor, I'd say for my gloves, I probably need to wear this, the steel gloves. They just, it just works if I'm going to a movie premiere. I'm gonna carry this scythe. Um, I don't always use it, but I do quite often go out with my scythe. And then again, the sword just kind of works with the armor. So I'm gonna go for that as well. I'm feeling like this is just sort of working with that armor look. And it's, it's, it's gotta be the wings really, hasn't it? Like you can't, leaving the house without your wings is just kind of foolish, I would say. Also your eyepiece. Uh, how are you supposed to see without your eyepiece? And then because we've got the magpie putting my brooch on my head, I feel like a flock. Just like a general flock of magpies is probably quite a good idea. And then again, maybe just like a like a, a huge sort of magpie bridge. I, I probably would wear that for a movie premiere. And then for my makeup, I would probably... I'd probably go for black eyes crying proper potentially, or maybe just actually crying. <laughs> Now I'm gonna go for the black eyes doing a little cry. So that's probably like, I'd say that's a sensible outfit to wear for a, a, a movie premiere. That's kind of similar to the one I wore. I'm gonna go ahead and, and screenshot that so I can remember it for the next time I go. So let's just kind of see what the game's making of this. Like obviously, like you can't even see her because my scythe is so huge. So I think I'm definitely on the right track. My outfit's warm, you know, that's pretty heavy armor there. It's gonna, it's gonna definitely keep you warm. It's not very pure, obviously, for... It's not lively. How is it not lively? I have a flock of magpies. Are you actually joking me? There we go. The outfit loses, but really, I think we all know that that outfit is definitely a winner's outfit right there. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much to Love Nikki, and thank you both for providing you guys with codes. Don't forget to drop them in the little comments below, and I will reply to some of you guys with those codes. And make sure you enter them as quickly as you can so you can get those in-game items. And I have had a lot of fun playing this game. I feel like I've, I've, I've kind of expressed myself fashionably quite well. I think you guys have a pretty good idea of how how I dress when I'm not making YouTube videos. A lot of a lot of armor and magpies, I probably would say, is how I dress. And if you guys want to see any more Love Nikki, let me know in the comments below. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. I think this game is an absolute ton of fun. And I know a lot of you guys play it as well because you've tweeted me. So if you guys have any better looks than me, please tweet me them or send me them on, I don't know, in the comments or on, on Instagram. Send me some of your Love Nikki looks. And if they're as good as what you're looking at right now, then I definitely want to see them so please send them away i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a cheeky thumbs up and i'll see you in another one thank you so much for watching bye